Hi everybody, I am Andrew and today we play some Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. I am very happy to bring this game on YouTube because I have never played it, uh, uh, at least publicly. I played a little bit of this game on my own, but I have never fin the main finished the main campaign. So today I'm going to start the main story and I am going to try for the first time in my life the difficulty level core. Okay, I am not new to this kind of games, but I'm not an expert at all, so for me core is a challenge and, and I, I accept it and I really hope that I will entertain you and at least uh, try to, to bring some interesting content. We are going to play with a custom character and for the occasion I have prepared a custom portrait uh, already. I have used Mid Journey, uh, the artificial intelligence tool that I use to generate my portraits. If you're interested in this topic, maybe I will leave you a link in the description where you can go to my artificial intelligence um, drawing uh, YouTube channel. Uh, now we continue um, and we're going to pick our class. I want to play with actually a ranger and as a ranger, I am going to be a demon slayer. Why? Because uh, I will not be able to pick my, say, uh, favorite enemy, but all my favorite enemies will be demons. And since I'm going to play probably 80% of the time against demons and fight them, I think that this is going to work quite fine. Of course, if you if you notice by the portrait, my, my character is kind of, kind of little with his red hair and is an halfling. I want to try this uh, gameplay because I really like halflings and uh, they're fearless so uh, they receive a racial bonus on all saving throws against fear. Uh, he has slow movement uh, because our base speed is a little bit slower. We are sure-footed so we have a bonus in athletics and mobility checks and we have keen senses so we have a plus two racial bonus on perception. Uh, we are very very keen, we are very careful. Then we get the Halfling Luck. Uh, by the way, I select a male character. The Halfling Luck is giving us a plus one bonus on all saving throws and the Russian Heritage, um, which is gonna give me a specific trait. Now, our Racial Heritage can be Basic, Craven, and Hosty. The Basic uh, is a usual example for our race. Craven means that, uh, so we loses the Halfling Luck, Fearless, and gains minus two penalty to saving throws against Fear but we gain plus two racial bonus on reflex savings throw, and, but I don't like it. And Husty is giving us uh, actually um, a base speed of 30 feet and a plus two bonus in initiative rolls, but we lose sure-footed and fearless. So I'm gonna stay uh, basic for this time. I have also to pick now my background selection. All right, so I have uh, a regional um, background that I wanted to pick uh, for, uh, I will show you why, and I think I can find it here, the Shelaxian Diabolist. The Diabolist adds knowledge to the list of the uh, class skills, and uh, we also get uh, a plus four dodge bonus to the armor class against Nevis. If the character already has the class, blah blah blah. Uh, I think I will get this one, so we will have an extra armor class against Nevis, and let's continue. And now we have to pick our skills. So we are going to avoid strength um, because this is not going to be our main uh, characteristic, our, our main ability. But uh, we are going to get now at least 18 to dexterity, so plus four. I, I like to keep a bonus in constitution and I would like to give the rest of these bonuses to wisdom, at least reach level 16. And then I give 13 to intelligence. I think that this is, uh, I mean, I'm not, uh, again, a master in the builds, so this is just my personal interpretation of the character. I don't like to min-max and create monsters where I uh, bring, I don't know, charisma to the minimum just to have three extra points and so on. I like to keep it kind of balanced, but my uh, Demon Slayer, my Hunter, is a person which is wise, is smart, is careful, is not stupid at all, but it's not a genius, but he knows what he's doing, and he's very, very quick in, uh, in hitting, in hiding, and all this kind of stuff. So now we have five points to distribute. So I'm going to role play here once again. Uh, the first one will be athletics because uh, we are anyways fighters. So athletics is very important for us. Even if we are not strong, uh, strong, we are very resistant. We are very fast. And we, of course, are stealthy. We can hide very quickly. I will avoid trickery because we are not thieves, um, but I am going to give mobility before I forget, because also mobility is very important. 
these skills will give us the possibility to uh, coordinate, uh, do aerial maneuvers, gymnastics and tumbling and so on. And now we have another extra two points that are not physical. So the first one is going to perception because we need to be very careful about what's going on around us. I think this is important. And the second one, just to stick to, the, to our, again, role play, is gonna be lore of nature. We learned how to hunt in the forest, uh, in the deserts, in the tundra, whatever, but we learned that traveling around the world, uh, we need to know the nature around to fight our enemies, which are the demons. Okay, now we have to select a feed. The first one that I'm going to get is the weapon finesse. Because when I will carry a light weapon or an advocate blade or a stock or a rapier, I will uh, um, be able to use my dexterity modifier instead of my strength modifier on attack rolls. So I am not going to focus on uh, uh, bows or, or crossbows, but I am going to be melee and uh, I will try to be quick and, uh, and fast and uh, also use uh, short weapons and hit hard. Then I have to think about um, the next focus and I need to read very quickly now the list. Yes, and I found immediately I am going to pick dodge because we are going to get a, a plus one dodge bonus to our armor class and this is going to be already very useful. Then we have to find our deity and in this case I need to figure out a little bit which kind of character we are going to play. All right, and I think I will go for Ayomedi uh, because uh, he is the Lord, the Light of the Sword, or the Lady of Valor. Um, is the goddess of uh, she is the goddess of the writer's valor, justice, and honor. Having served as a herald, she inherited many of the followers uh, of Last Atlantis after his dead. So she's the domain. Uh, she has the domain of glory, god, law, sun, war. The favorite weapon is the long sword. We are not going to carry a long sword, but this is going uh, to uh, give us the possibility to pick a um, legal, uh, lawful, good background. And now we can finally, uh, finally create our character. Let me see if I find this mild guy um, with red hair and uh, blue, blue eyes. I would like to see his hair though. All right, it's much better. Um, Having really red, red hair is also fun, but I think that those uh, hair are better. Our color is blue. Those colors are going to be blue. Oh, I like this one. And yep, that's that's totally fine. We're not going to have any war paint I'll on. Take care of it. Together we stand. Let us be off. I feel faint. Fire. Calm down. Ah. Damn, son. I think I will, I will take the brave, the brave voice set, and here, here we go the name with, with the name, Ari Cradley. Birthday is the first of Abadius. That's totally fine. Um, and now we have created our red blade, our our character. So let's complete and let's start our our trip, our journey. That's gonna be more a journey rather than a trip. And let's start by the beginning. I think we will start with the tutorial in the main square. I'm not going to read every single um, every, every single line, but I will make sure that you can pause the game every time and read if you want to be absorbed by the story. Uh, but I will also comment and, and make my own considerations uh, when we proceed through the, go the hey, gameplay. Somebody. We got a wounded fighter. Can we get a healer over here? My, my, would you look at this? But why would you drag a wounded fighter into the middle of the festival square? Couldn't he... Make room, everyone. Step back. Now, what's the matter? What happened to him? Demons, prelate. We found him barely alive outside the walls of Canabris. The walls, you say? Enemy doesn't usually stray so close to the city. Must fortify the defenses. We'll get you patched up now. But first, you there, guard, take his weapons. Bearing arms is not permitted during the festival. All right. They found us outside the walls and we were oh, kind of injured. Leader of our troops, you will have water as soon as now we are restored and our wounds are, are healed. 
Violet, surely there is somebody else here better suited to running errands. I'll get her! Terendalev! Has anyone seen Terendalev? Be quick about it before it's too late. Now, that's the first I've heard of that name. Who are you then? What's your business in the city? My dear prelate, please, for the sake of the festivities, stop interrogating this poor man. <clears throat> All right, as you wish. You are our protector, and a dragon at that. So I shall defer to your wisdom, but be on your guard. I've been informed he was wounded near Canabras. Pry loose the grudging grip of pain. Cast off the veil of suffering. I accept your thanks. But my work is not yet done. My name is Terendalev. I am the protector of the city. You don't believe me? Perhaps I should retake my true form and engulf this square with my ice breath to win your trust. <laughs> I do not know yet. And that troubles me. I am not entirely sure what the demons did to you. Certainly. But be careful. I have managed All right, to so, um, Terentelev, the mighty dragon and the leader of this city, just patched us up. And now we will be able to walk around this area. And we have to sample the special festival drink. This is our first quest. We will have also to play a little bit with uh, possible um, uh, entertainments that we have here around. But this is just a tutorial uh, that I'm going to close, by the way, which is showing us what we could do with our uh, Alfling. It's so little and fun. I, I really love it. Don't show this tutorial. Thank you so much. All right. So now I pressing tab. I can see the citizen and what's going on. I am going to uh, try the local beer. Uh, I think that should be that uh, this is actually a shop, not really the local beer. Let me go. And see where I can find here. We have also something that we can do. Not really. Okay, we can play darts. Let's let's go play darts. Um, we just need to interact with an object, and let's see if we are good enough now. And shoot. Oh, perfect center, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, you see, we have also now to hit the mannequin and try the festival drink. So let's go there and let's do that. There's a stranger here. The absence of an answer is an answer too. Oh, he must be the wise guy, right? Let's hit the mannequin now. I don't even know if I can reach the, the buckle, uh, the, the, the shield. Kinda. Wonderful. <laughs> but I think that we won't be able to perform and finish our quest because now a sudden event happens. And a bunch of demons are now breaking in. And they start killing the guards. So a major battle appears to start in the middle of a festival. The bodies of the townspeople are lying on the ground. There is blood everywhere. And now the dragon Discari, Lord of Locusts, leave comes into play. City. And Descari also. Descari is a goddess. A horrible uh, goddess of uh, evil and insects and, and, and pestilence and so And with one hit, decapitating, it's beheading the dragon. And we are here. We are here in the middle of the mess. And the little guard is telling us, Care to lend me a weapon? I try to fight the demons. And we get the light crossbow. That's not what I wanted. But better than nothing. A mortal gnat snaps its jaws at the Lord of Locusts. Behold, 
die over thee. Behold the death I saw. So, now, a huge hole. A huge hole in the ground. So, the sheath of our... Of our demon friend. The silver dragon Terendale. Okay, I, I let you. I let you tell you about the game. Spell in battle, hardly surprising, as she had to fight the demon lord Discari himself. So it seems that now we are on the bottom of the underworld, and uh, Arik is alone. And now we can. We're gonna keep our first weapon, our crossbow. And one thing that I want to do, let me see if I can enable the turn based mode. Uh, yeah, I, I want to try to fight with the turn based mode. Oh, holy mother of. Hey, hey, stay with me. You actually got pretty And we meet Sila. She's gonna be our first tank. But at least you're not on your own. I feel him all right. One say no to a little less feeling in him. My ankle's killing me, but my... That's all that matters. Now, we're going to... Hey! <laughs> Fancy meeting you down here. You're the one that Terendal appealed today, right? All right, let's use athletics. Hold on, we are going to get you out from under here. We are kind of athletic, so we might be able to pull her out. Yep. It failed. <laughs> oh, damn it all. I think it's broken. Oh well, I've had worse. I'll just make myself a splint out of something. Thanks for Well, I'm Sila. Paladin by the grace of Iomede. I crossed the whole continent so, to come to Mendez. Sila is a paladin of Iomede, well, our same goddess. So we would stick while, together and we'd be best friends because I want to have Sila in the group for a I long don't even time. I want to think what might be happening up there in the city. Canabres has lost the protection of Terendalev, and of the Wardstone too, looks like. It's a relic without equal. Yeah, things are looking grim enough, but don't lose heart. Wardstone or no, dragon or no, Canabres will never give in. Good to meet you. Now, tell us all about yourself. Whoa, girl, slow down. Exchanging names is enough for now. <laughs> yeah, I think that exchanging names was uh, enough. There are three of us. Ah, uh, and we have now to find a way out from here. So Sila is a keep with a long sword, with a heavy shield, and she's a paladin, level 1. She's also low for good. She's strong, she has a, high, a, good, a good constitution, but she's, she's very tired because she also fell down, and that's off. not the best place ever. Let's start looking for some loot. Okay, we have a clock of resistance, which I'm gonna keep. And I could also keep a long sword or a cold iron hand axe. So the hand axe uh, is actually uh, not a light weapon. Not at all. No, yeah, it is a light weapon. But I don't understand why the attack is only plus one, because I thought that I am able well, probably because it's an axe and not a short a sword. I think I, I should just uh, I, I should just avoid it. It's alright. I, I would just avoid it. I would stick to the to the ranged. And here we get uh, a Terendalev scale. A Terendalev scale can restore life to a deceased party member, uh, which is a which is a wonderful uh, item. Of course, I do a quick save now because we Who's meet there? a new character, Camellia. Relax, friend. We're, we're not demons or cultists. Don't poke my eye out with that thing, all right? We fell down here during the attack. I'm Sila. That's Anevia, and this is our new friend. We're looking for a way back to the surface. Really? I'm so ever glad to hear it. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Camellia. I was also in the square when. Certainly. Let's ask Camille if she wants to join together. us. It's only sensible. Who knows what else could be prop? That's right. Let's see if this poor bloke has anything useful on him. Yeah. All right. So, Camellia um, is uh, is a cleric, and she's going to help us in many se in several ways. So, 
Um, here we go. She she's a shaman spirit hunter to be precise. I re I don't really like the character, but uh, she's not bad, and she has a very good cold iron rep here, which can be useful. We keep her also with the other torch, and let me see here. We have a dagger, a masterwork dagger. Wait a minute, this is exactly what I might use as a weapon, and my attack will be a plus two. Okay, I have the feeling that my character ability okay now we get I now we rem I now I understand what I've done I have unlocked dodge instead of finesse I will have to take finesse in the next in the next level up um all oh, right I was sure that I could pick two of them, but obviously I was wrong, as I told you. I'm not an expert here. All right, we have our first uh, encounter. We, we uh, as I said, we are going to play with turns just at the beginning. Um, we, won't falter. we can also move a little bit far away. And now is the insect turn. The centipede is... Uh, trying to attack Sila and missing now this is Camellia turn and we have several actions that we could do uh, we can try to move and hit the same centipede so we kill it perfect first is done it's very important that Sila stays in front she's our tank she has to oh uh, okay Okay, Anivia managed to kill one centipede, actually two of them, and now there is a young giant centipede which is coming to us. No, always, always towards the Navia. Now Sila, finally, she can eat and she can move and try to block the guy here. Now it's our turn, we use again our crossbow and it's done. I, I never played uh, in the past using the turn-based combat system, but I actually was looking at some YouTube videos and I find it so cool. I actually like it a lot. So, let's move uh, and attack directly. I'm not going to use any, any sort of special skill or ability. I just blocked the fly. And now I can shoot can from here. Cool. There are a lot of flies. You see that the fly went through um, the defensive position of Camellia and uh, triggered an attack of opportunity. Now we say that we are going to fight defensively. Camellia can keep attacking. And now it's again this little thing turn. Our turn. Let's try to kill that fly. Ah, we miss. 7 versus 11. Alright. 17 versus 19. I mean, 19 is pretty good. Now we are fighting defensively. We keep the mosquito as far as possible and we're going to engage the next one the, your blood. the idea is to block it a three very bad uh very bad also for us now we stop fighting defensively and we attack normally three versus seven man come on it's a seven Good. <laughs> One. <laughs> we are not hitting. Oh, really? A four. I need to do a seven. A two. <laughs> okay. Oh, thanks, God. Fifteen. That was quite good. That was quite good. All right. Another battle now. Oh, those insects.
I might use the Spirit Weapon Enchantment, which is uh, lasting a minute and it's giving to us a better chance of hit, uh, an, a better hit chance. And now Sela can just move and attack this one. Not really. Alright. Let's see if our magic weapon is helping. Not really. Oh man, that's bad. The inheritor. Guide my blade. Okay, our turn. Let's uh, uh, hit the spitting one and move into this direction. Now, I think the Camellia uh, should really heal herself because she's uh, severely wounded. And now we can move on his side and wait for the next turn. Another, another hit. We have to kill this thing before Camellia is too weak. Well done. Good shot. Oh no. You are today's sacrifice. Wonderful. Into the Perfect. Perfect. Okay, it seems that Camellia will now drink uh, a magic potion or something. Um I I think that I didn't just use. Good. Okay, now we have Braces of Armor. The Braces of Armor are providing us with a plus one. I am going to give them to Sila, so her armor cross is jumping. Nope. It's not gonna work because probably she has already something giving her an extra level of defense. Uh, yep, the armor. Same for her. I have to give it to my main character. But my main character has already some engraved lucky bracers, plus luck and reflex. So that means we are going to keep them. So far, so good. Let's explore the rest of this. Okay, another mosquito. Let me stay behind Scylla this time. Let's see if the, the fly is trying to charge Scylla. And what's going on? Flat-footed, okay. We won't falter. The Inheritor, guide my blade! Okay, let, let me fight defensively. Because this is going to give her more armor class. Now things are getting complicated. Okay. Go for their heart. Wonderful. Oh, that's bad. Seal has been hit. Let's try to kill the fly with a with a ah. Uh, uh, wanted to kill the fly with my crossbow, but actually my attack at the moment is really bad. Let's see if Camellia can help. Yes, she can. She can, and very well. The spirits demand your blood. No, 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 not like this. Not like this. That was a very bad. That was a very bad mistake and misclick. Because I just got a opportunity attack, and that was really not necessary. Okay. Oh, Monitor lizards. Those are new, aren't they? The light take you. Forwards. 
Okay. I have to put together my my units though because you it seems that they are the always um, moving. The inheritor, guide my blade. And they're very distance be distant between each other. So. We won't falter. Oh, critically it's seven points. That was great. That was really good. Go for their hearts. I'll cut you wide open. No glory without Good. Risk. Just a little bit of luck now and with one with shot I can kill this thing. Done. I will help where I can. Okay, so um Yeah, this is exactly what I would like to do. Let's do a team. Where Scylla and Camellia stay in front and my little guy stays just a little bit behind. So we found the Navia and I think that we are at the end of this. No, I can't just walk away. It's got to be here somewhere. When do I? We find two mongrels. Lan, did you find it? Who is that? The do-gooders here to save our mongrel souls, no doubt. Wait, they might know what's going on. If things are as bad as you say, then we all have to hurry. You didn't come from the direction of the shield mace. Damn it. I couldn't care less about what's happened. I realize that you guys have your own troubles, but we need to be in Canabres. People are dying up there. Please, show us the way out. Tieflings are the descendants of people who sullied themselves by mating with demons. Our ancestors would never sink that low. Sadly, underground crusaders is a bit of a mouthful. So people usually just call us mongrels. <laughs> you just love repeating that, don't you, Lan? Mongrels. No matter what you call us, it's not gonna stop our ho In Canabras, they're called mongrels. People say that they come up to the surface at night and eat anyone foolish enough to wander alone after midnight. <laughs> <laughs> That's human gratitude for you. Our forefathers suffered the consequences of demonic corruption. <sighs> Every mongrel has their own take on it. Our chief, for example, thinks of us as something like a reserve military force. That's none of your bit. We're looking for a holy sword. It was here, in the center, sticking out of a rock. The sooner we find it, the better. Some kids from our tribe took off for the shield maze. They figured it had... Except they don't have a clue what's waiting for them up there. They're not fighters. And Sul, the chief of our tribe, is dead set against it. He... <laughs> It's a fool's errand. None of us will be able to hold the sword, let alone use it to save anyone. I'll pick it up with my teeth and tie it to my hand if I have to. It doesn't matter. An angel's sword and a troop of stalwart mongrels will be able to work a minor miracle. <laughs> Thanks. An extra pair of eyes can only help. So I just offered my help in, in looking for the sword that the mongers are looking for. But uh, I think that we are going to look at this uh, part of the of the quest in the next episode. So, so far, I thank you for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed and I really hope that you enjoyed Pathfinder Wrath of the Writers. Um, if you did so, please leave a comment and a thumbs up. And let me know if you would like to see the next episode of this series, because I might consider really continue and uh, go ahead and maybe finish the whole campaign. Who knows? For, for today, that was it. Had a lot of fun. Thank you for watching and see you next time.